Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today on this episode of Jerry Rigged, we're gonna sand and paint this giant spot on my roof that's starting to rust because all the paint chipped off because it's crappy super paint. Now I'm not trying to win any awards with the paint job. I'm just trying to get it covered up so that I can clear coat it and get it really smooth because we're gonna vinyl wrap the whole car at a later date. So I found some glossy Krylon Fusion just laying around in my garage. Why go buy stuff when I got crap laying around? Got a little bit of masking tape. And purely because I'm super lazy, I also got an orbital sander that's got one of those screen discs on it. I don't even know what grid it is. I really don't care. I also have some flat paint, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm just going to use the gloss because it's got to be a smooth surface for the vinyl to adhere to. Now I realize you guys are probably cringing hard right now because I'm taking a Subaru STI and just using a bunch of crap I had left over in my garage from Home Depot to paint it. But don't worry, guys. We're just trying to stop the rust. That's it. And then the car is going to get vinyl wrapped. And I will be doing a video on that in the future when we do it. As you can clearly see right here, it's like fully rusting through. And the rest of this, you can see rust is forming on top of the bad primer. Now, this year was known for having bad paint. This is a 2005 STI where the primer and the paint didn't bond very well together. So we're just going to sand it back to the edge as best we can and put some paint on it and just hope for the best. And don't worry, guys, this is primarily an off-road rally car. It's got tons of dents and dings. Fender's all banged up. Got a dent there. Somebody like set something that like eroded and corroded through the damn thing here. The whole front of the car is all scratched up. She is definitely not a looker. But honestly, the rust is driving me crazy. So I figured you know what i'm gonna fix it and i'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing it because then i want to wash the inside of my car and the ocd is not letting me clean the inside of the car until i get this squared away so i'm just giving into my ocd these days because why fight it right now for those of you unfamiliar with my car this is a 2005 subaru wrx sti i added the little pair and wing stiffies because you know why not because it makes it feel like a wrc rally car even even though it really isn't also guys somebody stole my sti badge so i just flipped over the wr from the wrx and impreza and now it's mr impreza that worked with what i got here also the seal on my rear tail lights going out so it's filling up with water you can see all the crap in there also my fifth gear synchro is about had it this car is definitely showing its age but you know what doesn't matter how much of a beater a car is when it's all cleaned up and it looks nice it's nice to drive. All right, just one quick warning here, guys. I'm not a professional. I don't know anything about auto body. I am not good with painting anything. I am not good with sanding. I literally have no skills that make me qualified to do this other than I am poor people right now, and this is what I have available to me. Go ahead and thrash me in the comments down below. I welcome it. All right, so I'm guessing phase one is sanding so I can kind of feather the edges and get up some of the loose paint and get this, uh, all of this rust. Now, I must reiterate again, we're not going to look good. We're just going to get it smooth so we can put some vinyl on it. Just want to make that abundantly clear. All right, guys, before we get started, we want to make sure we don't get any dust inside the car. So we got to do some meticulous masking. That'll do. Why does this suddenly seem like a really bad idea? I think we're going to go ahead and start with the low speed. This can't be good to breathe. Getting rid of that rust really good. I, I hold on to this storm because I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me. Kind of getting all shiny like a mirror. It's pretty dirty. All right, I can still feel the edge of the paint really good. I can tell this is going to. This is going to take a while to feather down. I might even have to put some primer on it to build it up. Keep in mind, I didn't look up anything on the internet. We're just winging it because it's a jury rigged. Not a DIY gasm. Hey, I found a sanding block in the house. Let's give this a try. See if we can get these edges. Dude, it's all shiny like a DeLorean. Seriously, what am I doing? Actually, the sanding block seems to be working a lot better for feathering it. This is tiring. All right, screw this, back to the power tool. Hey guys, don't forget to check out Instagram.com forward slash Barnacles for some different angles and behind the scenes stuff like this. Kind of feel like we need more speed. More power, let's turn it up to 111. Yeah, baby. So now I'm just trying to lightly feather the edge here so that it doesn't feel like such an abrupt line and then I'm gonna hit it with some primer. Well, that's feeling a lot better than I thought it would. It's uh, got a little bit of an edge still, but it's going to because it's got you know primer and automotive paint on it. So I'm just gonna knock down the edge a little bit more with the block. Hey. 
All right, so far this seems to be going okay. I've got it down to bare metal. I've feathered the edges. Now I just got to do a little bit of masking and uh, lay down some primer. And then I'm going to sand the primer and apply the top coat, and that's it. I'm going to be done with it because I have to avoid trying to be a perfectionist. All I'm trying to do here, guys, is stop the rust and give a nice surface for the vinyl to adhere to. Man, it's so weird seeing your car without paint on it. Like this is down to the bare aluminum on the roof. Isn't that crazy? Part of me wants to just sand the whole car now and clear coat it and say, screw the vinyl. But I really just need to stay on task and get this done because I literally have like an hour left of daylight. I can already tell the comments on this video are gonna be priceless. All right, so I'm all done sanding. Now I went and got some uh, alcohol just because I want to clean off all the dust and everything before I lay down primer and I want to use something that'll dry really quick and not leave any kind of residue. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but hey, who knows? Probably should use some paper towels too. Good enough. So even though this is kind of stupid, I'm proud of myself because I'm getting rid of the rust and I'm doing something that like 99% of the population wouldn't do. People keep uh, walking by and looking at me really funny. Masking is the part I've never been good at with painting. But the good news is the only thing here is a rubber grommet. So if I get paint on it, I can just use some mineral spirits to remove it. Just remember to like, favorite, and subscribe and watch all my tech videos because I'm gonna need money for a new car after this. I really don't think I need to reiterate that I'm not a professional, right? You guys all get the gist of that? I'm not a professional. Did I mention guys that I decided to do this literally on a moment's notice? I was supposed to detail the inside of the car and while shooting the Instagram post, I just decided I'm gonna fix the top of my car and then I went and grabbed the camera because it was sitting inside the door. I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> Do you guys find this entertaining? Let me know. All right, so I got some ultra fast drying primer here. I'm just gonna use it up as a build up primer so that I can sand it down a little. Now what I'm hoping for is that the wind dies down just enough. I'm looking at the trees to get my wind edge. And as soon as it dies down in between, I'm gonna do a little spray. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of coat on this. I'm gonna let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna sand it down just a little by hand. And uh, then I'm just gonna hit it with paint and call it done. All right, there's not a lot left. Let's see if this is even spraying, let's see. Okay, that's not bad. That'll work. Here we go. Yeah, that's a lot of overspray. Woo, I'm doing it, Mom. Wow, that stuff dries quick. Oh, works pretty good. Time for round three. All right, now to let it dry and sand. All right, let's go ahead and remove the masking tape while the primer's still wet so that it doesn't get stuck on there. Remember I said there wasn't much overspray? Yeah, there's a little overspray. Hey. All right, let's see if the overspray will clean up with uh, a little alcohol. Using up all my wife's alcohol. Hope she doesn't mind. Oh, good, it's coming right off. Yay! Crisis averted. Not that it matters, because again, I'm vinyl wrapping it. So when I was pulling the masking tape off, it lifted another piece of paint right here. So this paint is completely shot. So I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I'm just gonna sand this down a little bit. I'm not even gonna hit that with primer. I'm just gonna sand it down. I'm gonna paint it and call it good. Subaru, go back in time and make better paint. I mean, after all, the paint was really bad. This is all just a big experiment because it all needs to be you know, covered in vinyl anyways. So it's kind of a fun little experiment. Who knows, maybe in the end, I'll just strip the entire roof and paint it a different color entirely. That could be another project. All right, we are quickly approaching the screw it phase of the project. It looks like we're having a paint formulation problem with the primer. We're gonna go ahead and just sand all the primer off now just to see if we can knock down some of the edges. I don't think it's gonna work because it looks like it's wrinkling, like somehow the original factory primer isn't compatible with the Krylon off the shelf crap I put on there. But uh, at any rate, hey, lessons are being learned right now. So we're gonna go ahead and sand it all off. We're just gonna throw some paint on there and call it good. All right, I think for this phase, we're gonna turn the speed way down. But right now, because the primer's not really working, we're gonna go ahead and just sand it all off. And just whatever surface we're left with is what we're gonna paint. Hey. Not gonna lie, this is not going great. The reason I would suck at auto body stuff is because I'm such a perfectionist. I know it wouldn't show by the end result of most of my projects, but uh, I keep fiddling with stuff and I don't know when to stop. If left to my own devices, this entire car would be stripped of paint in the next two hours. 
That's better than it was. I'm gonna get one more sanding disc and do a quick sand with the sanding disc on the orbital sander on low speed with a brand new disc and see if it smooths this out a little bit. If you're wondering, it's 220 grit. Here we go for all the, oh crap. There we go, all right, here we go. Oh, less, way less speed, way less speed. Oh, much better. Wow, that actually worked way better than expected. I'm gonna do one more clean pad and just do one more final pass right here to clean up the edge where I didn't put any primer. And then I'm just gonna go for it. Daylight's running out. If you guys would like me to do body work on your car, be sure to contact me. I'm just totally kidding. Hey guys, I honestly thought I really screwed that up. I didn't. I can't feel the paint line anymore. I can see the line where the paint changes color, but I don't feel it. It's perfectly smooth. Now this is the part where I keep poking at it until it's irreparably damaged. All right, if I keep messing with it, I'm never gonna get it perfect, but that's, that's fairly smooth. I think that'll be good enough. All right, time for some more alcohol. Tell you what, after this, I'm gonna need some alcohol. All right, so far this project has been a complete roller coaster with ups, downs, then ups again, then downs again. But at least we got rid of the rust spot. We did feather the edge, which was really bad before. So I think we're actually in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little while and then I'm gonna come out and paint it. All right, I found some bigger masking tape. I'm just gonna mask it along this edge and along this edge because I wanna feather it into the roof. Did I mention not to try this at home? Always shake your paint well. I am a little nervous. I am just a tiny bit nervous, just a little. I know the car is getting vinyl wrapped, but still, it'd be cool if this actually still looked better than when I started. That would be a nice, nice little goal. Use whatever shaking technique works for you. Here we go. Not too bad. Oh shit, let's see what happens, right? All right, that's coat one. How weird would that be if this was a factory match on the color? Yeah, it's better than it was. I'm just allowing it to dry for a minute or two between each coat. The way things were going, I didn't think it was gonna turn out this good. You can still see the paint line, but as long as it's smooth enough that the vinyl lays over, it's not gonna be that noticeable. I'm getting worried, because this is actually going on pretty good. <laughs> when things go well, I get worried. All right, here we go, fourth coat. I think this might be the final coat, we'll see. Well, I just noticed I painted my tripod. I'm guessing the other side of the car is probably completely coated in paint. So I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. All right, let's go ahead and pull back the tape. All right, there was so much overspray. I literally painted the front of my camera. I painted the tripod white. It's okay though. I'm just gonna wipe everything down with alcohol and hope for the best. So see guys, we learned an important thing. You don't have to mask anything off as long as you're willing to use alcohol and regs to clean it up before it dries. I just wanna make sure I get it off the black trim. All right, good enough. Let's let the paint dry for a little while and see how it turned out. Well guys, I'll tell you this much. It looks a thousand times better to do. The paint isn't dry yet and it's gonna probably be a different level of gloss because remember all the clear coat came off my factory paint. So I'll probably have to put some wax on it to make it look right. But I can't believe how close of a color match that is even though it isn't. So if you're wondering guys, that's the paint I used right there. Just some crap I grabbed out of the out of the cabinet over there, and uh, surprisingly, it's 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 not a bad match. The gloss, like I said, isn't right, but wow. I decided to move it into the sun so the paint could dry. Guys, I'm amazed by how that turned out. Um, there is a little bit of overspray on the roof. I'm just gonna lightly wet sand it after it sets up for a couple of days. And uh, then I'll throw some wax on it and I'll take another picture and upload it to Instagram so you guys can see the final product. That's Instagram.com forward slash Barnacles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jerry Rigged. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. I have 750 other videos ranging from technology unboxing to educational content to high-end PC gaming, virtual reality, 3D printing, racing simulation, 
pretty much you name it. If it's nerdy, I've got a hand in it somewhere. I'm bringing the channel back with a lot of new content coming up for the rest of 2018, and we're gonna hit the ground running hard. This is just the first of many videos that's coming down the pipe. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you think I did an absolutely terrible job, or if you think I did a good job, or if you just wanna troll me, or if you wanna give me a thumbs up, I appreciate all the feedback down below and if you guys want to see me daily i live stream on twitch tv forward slash barnacles it's called morning coffee 9 30 a.m pacific standard time every single day monday through friday so i guess that's not saturday and sunday so that's not really every single day but anyways come on over and check me out all the links to everything i talked about in this video all the products i used and everything will be down in the video description so always check the video description before you ask questions down below because chances are i may have already answered it all right guys well i hope you have a wonderful uh morning uh afternoon or night depending on where you live on this little marble and when you're watching this video and i will see you next Time. Honestly, still can't believe this wasn't a total train wreck. Literally, this entire project took two hours. I'm, I'm, I'm as shocked as you are.